think I'll just wrap it up here because the dogs are getting we're getting excited by somebody. I don't know why, and it's bad, and it's it happens frequently. I wonder if it's uh, a manifestation or something. Anyway, visitors have been awed as they witness and experience the waves of love the Lord pours out in the services. It is this love flowing between believers and toward God which helps to send the demons into spasms of rage and hatred. Sometimes the Lord gives us glimpses beyond the natural. Yeah, I had that dream, which wasn't a dream. And he actually showed me what one of these buggers looked like. Looked like I saw one that looked like something straight out of a, of a Ghostbusters movie. And another, others looked like creepy, crawly bug things but yeah i mean but he got us i mean he had it he had them restrained and the and uh he got us through well there was another dream but yeah he got us through a battle with them and they were trying to find us and you know and try to kill us or whatever but they couldn't they failed every time yeah, I mean, is I remember one of them looking like some kind of big centipede thing. I don't know. It was weird. But I'm pretty sure bugs don't grow to those kind of sizes. One of them was like, it was almost as tall as a, as a lamppost. But, yeah. Anyway, I'm getting back to this. Believers have reported seeing angels covering the walls and ceiling of the church, cutting off satanic reinforcements for the demonic troops that are embattled and, and trapped inside. One demon, after repeated commands that he, that he leave, commands that he leave, made a remark about Satan lying about the resurrection, asked if he was not afraid of Satan's anger. He laughed bitterly and said that Satan could not reach him while he was in the church. At, and hungry uh, asked why he snarled are you kidding the, there are angels over us patrolling on the sides and even under this damned floor there's no way that Satan can break through the, that wall of angels protecting you stupid clods hallelujah I'm glad, I'm glad. <laughs> then snap that our fanaticism made him sick oh that's too bad Demons continually threaten to destroy the church by burning, explosions, storms, etc. I and the other workers are promised all sorts of accidents and violent death. A demon who claimed considerable expertise in arranging human torture and sacrifice assured me he would love to arrange to have me drawn and quartered. We have heard spirits praising Satan. Praying to him, cursing us and our building in Satan's name. We drown them out with songs about Jesus, the cross and the blood. Some will cease speaking on command in the name of Jesus, but many will only get louder and more profane. Yeah, gotta, gotta turn up the heat. We bind and rebuke all demons around here in Jesus' name. And send angels to shut them up in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And if they continue, Lord, please bind and gag them. And read to them. Uh, well, and, and, well, yeah, and read to them the scripture. And put them in a box, too, according to Job 14 and 17. In Jesus' name. But yeah, back to this, though. Um... Sunday morning, there was a demonic seizure during the song service, which could not be quieted. The person was carried to the altar, and we gathered for prayer. Others came to help, came for help. It was 4.30 p.m. before we finished. The evening service began at 6.30 and ended six hours later. As I preached the sermon that night, I could not help noticing a demon in a lady leering at me from the congregation. As the invitation began i walked to the pew where she was sitting and she jerked back wild-eyed leaped on the pew and ran towards the wall whoa young people brought the struggling cursing biting figure to the altar where prayer eventually defeated and drove out 
the evil spirits. Yeah, you just got to keep at it and don't give up. Two people were saved that morning and one that night. At one point, three persons went into demonic seizures simultaneously. We finally left the building with tired but happy shouts that Jesus is Lord and victory and Jesus echoing in the night air. We dealt with an epileptic spirit which vomited up a foul-smelling green liquid substance each time we prayed. It was not food materials and would cease when prayer was halted. The woman got some relief, but we failed to dislodge the spirit. Wednesday night, a man came for prayer seeking relief from a raging high fever. When we prayed, a demon exploded angrily and put up quite a, and put up quite a battle before he fled with a wailing shriek. The young man's temperature immediately returned to normal. Praise the Lord. Alright.